In this video, we'll be taking apart the POCO F6 Pro. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. Also, if you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, we'll remove the SIM tray. Looking at the SIM tray, we can see a red rubber gasket around the opening. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate using either a hair dryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then a pry tool can be used to pry the back cover off. Here's a better look at the glass back plate. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and prying them off. So you don't need to take apart the phone to replace those. There are 17 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Looking at the top plastic cover, there's an antenna flex cable here, as well as the NFC antenna located next to that, and the flex cable which leads to the LED flash and back ambient light sensor. On the other side, we see a large area of graphite film to help transfer heat. The battery cables can now be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. The coaxial cables can be disconnected by just popping them off. So taking a look at the main board, we see the 50 megapixel primary camera, the 8 megapixel ultra wide, and the 2 megapixel macro lens. The main camera is the only one with OIS or optical image stabilization. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. There's a secondary microphone on the top corner, and some graphite film and copper tape over the shields to help transfer heat. Looking at the other side, we see the 16 megapixel front facing camera. Next to that is the infrared or IR blaster. And there's more copper tape and graphite film on the back shields, as well as thermal paste to help transfer heat. Once the graphite film and copper tape have been peeled back, we see additional thermal paste on top of the RAM, which is seated on top of the processor. Here's a better look with the thermal paste removed. Here's a look at the bottom speaker assembly, and there's additional graphite film over it to help transfer heat. There's also a mesh filter over the speaker opening. And here's the speaker itself. The flex cable for the screen is located on the bottom corner of the subboard, so if you need to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back plate, the screws on the bottom plastic cover and the cover itself, you'd disconnect all the flex cables on the subboard and remove the subboard, giving you access to the flex cable for the screen, at which point you'd heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen making sure you run the flex cable back through the opening in the mid-frame, and reassemble the phone.
Looking at the subboard, we can see the charger port located here with a red rubber gasket around it, and the primary microphones located underneath this covered shield. The SIM reader is located on the other side. The X-axis linear vibrator motor is located here, and is held down with some adhesive, and next to that is the fingerprint scanner. To replace either, just apply some heat and pry them off. When it comes to this phone, if you were to accidentally insert the SIM ejector tool in the wrong hole, you don't need to worry since both the filters on the bottom and top are seated above the holes so they won't get damaged. Now to remove the battery, there's a pull pouch provided to help you pry it off. Here's a look at the 5000 mAh battery. These flex cables connect the main board to the subboard. Now that the adhesive pull pouch has been peeled back, as well as the flex cables, we can see a large copper vapor chamber which runs underneath the battery, as well as the motherboard. The flex cable for the volume phase and power button is located here. If you need to replace that, to gently peel off the flex cable from the frame and remove the plastic bracket from the cutout inside of the frame by just pulling it out, and then you'll be able to pull out the flex cable. The board for the proximity and ambient light sensor for the front is located here, and next to that is a top earpiece speaker, both of which are held down with some adhesive, so to replace those just apply some heat and pry them off. For the repairability score on this phone I give it an 8 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back cover. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.